My name is Lieutenant Chris Amling from the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office. I'm the SWAT team commander. Uh, today we are working on a joint integrated uh, response to an active shooter. Uh, multiple, multiple agencies are participating in this today. The FBI, Little Rock Air Force Base, the Little Rock Fire Department, the Little Rock Bomb Squad. Uh, local agencies include the OEM, uh, Art Street Fire Department, Quill Creek, and uh, Highway 365. Uh, we've just got them all out here today trying to work on how we respond to the school. But we reached out to the Pulaski County Special School District and obviously the concern is, is the safety of the students that come to their schools. And so we just tried to hook up a, a a day where we could come out here and work with everybody that we might be involved. Uh, we don't know that all these agencies are going to be involved in anything that happens at Mills, but you never know. And so we need to practice uh, those responses, and that's what you're seeing today is a multiple agency response to an active shooter, including the medical port. Uh, that's the one thing is that once the gunshots are over, we've got to take care of the injured and the wounded, get the kids out to where they need to go and meet the parents. Uh, there's so many things that are considered in, in an active shooter situation that uh, are outside the normal scope of what, what you see on the news. Uh, that we needed to make sure that, that everybody understood their role when, when they responded to these incidents. And that's what you're seeing today. The ambulance is transporting people. Uh, you're seeing a, a law enforcement respond to the shooting portion of it. And you're just getting a multi-agency response to what, what could happen if uh, an active shooter situation took, care, uh, took place at a school.